fingers, so you have a tendency to have your fingers out. Okay. So close, but just like I just said, like you're holding a hamster or an egg or yeah. something, right? So, uh, or a baby bird, right? So, um, and then wrist up here. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a muscle right underneath there. Mm -hmm. Tricep muscle. And, and basically the, uh, the hinge in your wrist is what is the connection you're making, right? You connect, fingers you know, lightly on the back, don't dig in, hand up. Please my hands like this, and I'm muscle. Okay. And I have tone in my arm. I'm not light leaning on him. I have tone in my arm, so it's another connection point. Okay. So that if, if we're going to do two steps just like that, there's enough tone in that arm that you can feel the connection and take your steps. So, then on this side, here, um, the tendency you have is that, mm -hmm. okay, that's cha-cha, right, so give her a little bit of room here, she's got long arms, give her some room, okay, um, you notice that it's not there, it's, it's not, a, it's, it's greater than a 90 degree angle, mm -hmm. 90 degree angle, right? Um, the hand goes up right about your ear level. Okay, the reason for that is because a lot of times you're gonna, you're gonna ask her to turn. If it's down here, um, mechanically it doesn't work, right? Because it's gonna it's gonna take more time because you have more distance. But also you're gonna give her an energy that goes up here like that. It's gonna make her lean back. Okay, so you want it up here so that you can just go right over the head. Okay. Talked about posture, nice long back, pushing out here. Okay, so bra strap, uh, your sternum right here, push up. And what, that, what that's going to do is it's going to engage the lats, is where you want to dance with the, the muscles in the back. Okay, so now. Soft knees also, so I reminded Lisa that if you ever feel like you're wobbling in your turns, go back and check your knees, make sure they're soft. Soft knees for you. Right. Um, Try to get away from that. Bring them in. Okay. Makes you look better. Yeah. Okay. This way you don't have you don't have to show the chap with this. Right? Got it, buddy. So bring them in. So this way what you what you're doing is you're basically brushing your your, uh, your knees and your weight exchange is a lot easier, a lot better. You're gonna be smoother because if you're, if you're out here like this, the tendency is gonna be right? like a dollar, right? Mm -hmm. So so Pass your knees, feet closer together. And notice Carmen's step size. You asked me about step yeah. size, and you said, so I shouldn't have my foot past the other one. And that's correct. Yeah. Okay. Uh, big thing is you know, trying to get the connection. So, uh, Marnie, basically, if you look at, if you look at us, we're offset, we're right here to right here, right? We're offset, so if you look at our cores, our cores are at a diagonal, so when, when you connect, she's going to be at a, at a diagonal into the hand, if that makes any sense, so, mm -hmm. so our energy is going that way, it goes through our cores that way, it's not back, right? If she goes just back, it, it doesn't feel good. Mm -hmm. Even if she takes her spine back this way, it's still not the right direction. It's actually on a diagonal because it, it has to go, it has to fit right into that crook of that hand. All right. So now, what you want to try to do is you want to try to have um, just enough tone in your arms to lift them. Up in the air, right? And then you want to have a lot of elasticity, okay? you give and take in that connection. You want it to breathe, right? You want it to be stiff. If it's stiff, there's no give. Okay? If it's if it's if you lighten it up, what's going to happen is as you get away from each other or towards each other, you can absorb that distance. Okay? Um, I know that was a lot. But, um, no, no. So now uh, what we talked about is feeling the lady on her foot. Okay. You know, what we give our students sometimes is this exercise, not a silly one, but it's like. Feel her, take her weight, okay? respect the fact that she wants to take her weight. She's taking her weight, she's taking her weight, she's settled. Okay? So that's what you try to do when you dance, right? So we uh, we went uh, quick, quick, slow, slow, right? So and, and we're, we're going to do a turn. We're going to go, uh, let's do it this way so you can see the lead. Yeah. So, uh, the prep for the turn is ro rotation, right? Not she arms. Turns, she turns, the lady turns on the quick quick, but you can't just, you can't sneak up on her, right? You gotta give her, you gotta give her a lead of information beforehand so that she, she knows it's coming.
Okay. So the way we do that is uh, we have a little prep. We have a little prep. When we talk about this, we have a little prep on the first slow, but the big prep is on the second slow. Right, so we go quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, prep, prep. Now she's ready to release it. Follow the hand, quick, slow, slow. Now, you, when you follow the hand, you have to give it direction on what, what's going to happen next, right? So the lead happens. So, so you're actually following and leading at the same time, okay? So, so um, a lot of people don't understand this. Guys don't understand this, that they're both lead and follow, okay? And ladies will do the same thing in the opposite direction. So if you watch, we go quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Prep, I'm leading. I led that, I led that uh, prep for the turn. Now I follow. Quick, slow, slow. But then I follow and I, then I lead. I pick up the lead and tell her what she's going to do next, right? So it's going to go quick, quick, slow, follow, lead, slow, lead. Okay, so what I did is I led the hand where I wanted it to go. I don't know if that makes sense. It does. Okay. All right, so um, then uh, uh, we did Sweetheart. Uh, let, me, let me talk about what we did on uh, lady stuff, right? So we went, we went quick, quick, slow, prep. This is an extended third position. Okay, third position, extended third. I'm in the toe base on this foot right here, but I'm going to rotate on this axis, right? So lady rotates on, you always rotate on an axis, you have to establish an axis to rotate on. That's an axis. Then, back, back, hopefully you can see that. So, so we go quick, quick, slow, slow, axis, turn on, axis, turn on, slow, slow. Okay. Sample, if you want to practice this, so you would go quick, quick, slow, prep. We talked about the whole army guys that don't change. You put something between your knees, quick, change leg, quick, change leg, slow, slow. Quick, change leg, slow, slow. So we would go quick, quick, slow, prep. Quick, change way, quick, change way, slow, slow. So it is progressive. So, um, then we talked about, I know this is a lot of stuff, no. but what we talked about uh, building up the energy for the turn. Right? So, so the leader's giving you the indication to prep. Um, so you watch one, right? So what happens is, we'll do a little open hand position. Quick, quick, grab. Small prep and bigger prep. Yeah. Right. She loads up on this hip, on the back hip, and now that's the spring that's 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 wound up. Right. All she has to do is release it. Right. So we go quick, quick, slow, load up the spring, release, quick, slow, slow. She can do it forward too. Right. So that's where it goes. By the way. Okay. So you have a you have a spring when you step back, right? Load it up, turn the body, load it, release it. Okay. Going forward too. Quick, quick, slow. This time, here's the axis, right? And my pelvis is gonna be basically rotate this way around it. It stays in place on this side, it's pinned on this side, that's the center of rotation. The hip goes back this way. Let it go. So we're going to take a very simple... So let's show you how that applies. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Slow. Okay. Uh, let's, let's talk about the lead for Jen to get into this regard. Oh, yeah. So this one... This, this one messes with your mind. Because, because uh, when you go forward... Right? When you go forward... Uh, when we're in a closed position. Quick, quick, prep. Prep, it goes that way, and you'll notice that the prep goes with the lady's hips. It's in sync with the lady's hips, right? So if I go quick, quick, her hip goes back, her hip goes back, it's in sync. Now when we're, when we're in this position, it goes the other way, right? Because it's quick, quick, hip goes, that, 
dip those that way. And that way. So the, the prep is opposite. It's 180 degrees, uh, 180 degrees out of phase. Mm. So. And what we talked about after the prep is when you're leading that, you're going to keep your footwork going. So when you're leading, you're going to step back quick, quick back into the slot. Slow. Right. So this prep, this prep goes quick, quick towards me, away, quick, quick, slow, slow. And then what we talked about here is we're just basically giving her, we're giving her a, a place to work off of, okay? Mm -hmm. Because she's a student, uh, when we do turns, so not only do we generate energy up here, but we also have elasticity in the arms that helps too. So we go, quick, quick, slow, and prep, quick, quick, slow. slow. Now you'll see that I give a little bit of uh, follow through, mm -hmm. but it's just, it's just following the hand. It's not making her turn. So it goes quick, quick, slow. She's on the foot. I can feel her on the foot. I'm on my foot. And then she's just going to work off of that. And I, that's follow through just a little bit. And that's a different turn just for each other. That's a different turn for me than the pivot. It's a chenet. Quick, quick, slow, slow. And I'm going to show you your footwork. So the chenet is close your feet front quarter turn. All the way around. Now do your pivot. Slow. That's a ton of information. No, I love it.